So now we look at the internal profitability drivers of our business. So ABC Mining is an open cast mining operation. So that means that uh, they have a copper deposit and they have to remove waste rock from the surface. And then they access the copper ore and they drill holes into the rock. They then blast the rock and transport these huge rocks to a crusher that crushes them into finer, smaller rock particles. From then on, the rocks are transported to a mill where these metallic balls crush the, the smaller rock particles into finer dust, almost size particles. And they're then chemically dissolved into these reagent tanks. And uh, you have your flotation circuits, which bring the actual copper, they froth it, and they bring it to the, se uh, to the surface. They collect that froth, and then through um, either electrolysis, they plate it onto uh, copper plates. And then in this case, this mine has a refinery as well and a smelter, which then melts those plates down to remove further, even more uh, impurities. And then they cast it to metal sheets, which are then exported. So on the mining side, some of the cost drivers there, because this mine actually runs with the contract miner. So that is a company that comes in and actually does the whole trucking and blasting and uh, crushing side of things for this mine. And they charge the mine a labor component. They charge the mine a fuel component and also a consumables component as well. That's the explosives that they actually end up using. So again, you'd have to forecast that uh, using your base years 2020 and you'd forecast those costs going forward. And they would usually charge the mine per ton moved. So they've got a variable cost um, for labor, a variable cost for fuel, and a variable cost for consumables. You then also have to know how much rock they actually do move. So then you'd note how much waste rock is removed and how much ore is removed. And then it's just a matter of multiplying the unit cost per ton. Let's say if labor is, um, let's say 42 Rand per ton, and you're moving 100 tons of waste rock and 50 tons of ore, then you just say uh, 42, let's just do this, let's say total labor cost would just be a matter of 42 rand per ton moved, okay? So you multiply that with the total number of tons, which is 10 tons or 100 tons of waste rock and 50 tons of ore, and then that gives you your t total labor cost. Um, and you can assume that these units are in millions of tons, but this is just for illustrative purposes. And then you then project that forward um, in your mine. You do the same thing for your fuel cost and your consumable cost. You'd also then replicate that same procedure for your plant assumptions. Uh, now these are your chemical reagents. This is a large percentage of this would actually be electricity cost because you have to power these huge furnaces. And um, I've already done that. On the mining side, we have got the different pits that they're mining the copper from. And this is the waste and the ore. And the strip ratio is just the ratio of ore to waste rock. Okay, so this is just my mining plan. And we could see how the three pits interact with one another. This is the first pit that you mine and the second pit you mine them simultaneously. And then output from the second pit drops. And while that's dropping, they open up the third pit to just maintain overall production at that level. So that's your mining tab. Your plant tab is exactly as we mentioned before. You have your labor, you have your energy costs, you have your uh, leach costs. And uh, these are just ma mainly your consumables and um, the chemicals required to actually extract the copper from the rock. But something interesting that we also have here is we also need to model how this plant actually works. So you have your throughput rate, which is the tons per hour, okay? And this mine can do 6,000 tons per hour, okay? And um, they have a shutdown period of 1,000 hours per year. And obviously that will come down as efficiencies increase. And that's just to refurbish the plant uh, for general uh, maintenance. 
and uh, you have your processing costs and as well your copper and your gold recovery. So you also need to model in depth, in detail, no matter what business you have, whether it's mining, whether it's a restaurant, you need to model the complete process flow that you have within your business um, to this level of granularity where you know exactly each step of the process from getting your good from whatever supplies you have, the raw material, uh, to the point where it's fabricated or manufactured up until the point where you actually ship it or you export it. So this just illustrates that point with uh, understanding one's business to a certain level of granularity, which is uh, what financial models give us.